is up? It is Christian and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am a 20 year old whose life is going downhill <laughs> literally every day. I just woke up. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. Today is going to be a very, very realistic day in my life. I don't know, I was watching like a real, like a realistic day in my life video the other day and like he was saying he's sad and stuff like that. Like he's been going through a depression when I was watching and stuff like that. And it made me realize like, like maybe I am going through something and I just keep playing it off like I'm not. Like, I don't know, like I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I haven't been going to work. So I've literally just been sitting at the house every day and remember that in my last video when i was telling you about my car and how that piece was falling off you know it keeps falling off and i'm either gonna have to get it replaced or like get some of the strongest glue i've ever seen in my life or i'm just gonna have to get a new car which i don't feel like doing but i don't know which is gonna be cheaper so i'm gonna have to take it to like an auto shop and get that uh s get a quote for that i don't know um so i haven't left the house can't really go anywhere because of my car kind of broke um i have no friends out here i mean obviously i have zion but like other than zion i don't have friends and like zion has friends out here like zion's not here at the moment she's staying with her friends um and i just kind of feel lonely and then i feel like i'm constantly like a bother to my friends because i'm actually i've actually gotten really good at it like i used to call my friends all day like multiple times a day now i don't call them damn near as much anymore um because i just feel like i'm a bother to them like i feel like they don't want to talk to me like i feel like every time i call one of my friends like they're on their receiving end being like ugh like what now so i kind of just don't feel the need to talk to my friends anymore because i know they don't want to talk to me and i feel like through all of these things happening right now i'm like letting myself go i mean i know this is very simple but like th like you can tell this means a lot to me like I'm not even wearing half of my rings. What? Um, child. Anyway, so. I'm only wearing my heart one and this one. And I took off one of the rings I said I would never take off. And I haven't put it on in a day. Like that. And I know you're probably thinking, like, that's so fucking stupid, Christian. Like, what? But, like, stuff like that means a lot to me, oddly enough. And, like, this is not my comforter. Like, my, I don't even have my comforter on. This doesn't even have a pillowcase. My room is dirty downstairs is dirty like i'm just going through it <sighs> also i'm wearing a bonnet oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> like girl you don't even have any hair to protect but you know it's cute so hey but i kind of just wanted to take you guys through a realistic day in my life where I'm going through it mentally and emotionally, but at the same time, trying to be productive. Yeah, I mean, all I really need to do today, I need to do a lot, like I, I need to do a lot, but I definitely need to, um, let me just get up out of the bed, hold on. Um, I definitely need to clean my room, like, like, I just need to clean my room. Like, it's literally a mess. Like, come on now. Like, I left a candle burning all night. I could have burnt the house down. Like, it's just, like, come on now. Like, really? Like, this is so embarrassing. Like, I literally have my towel sitting over there. And, like, Zion's room is all nice and shit. And... My room's dirty, which is usually, no offense to Zion, but it's usually the opposite way. Um, so, got a box sitting right here. Oh, y'all haven't seen the downstairs, have y'all? Um, we got a TV and TV stand, a table, some couches, the recliner. Uh, what is this, the futon? We didn't get rid of the gummy bear chair. We just, you know, set her out for the season. Uh, she's deflated. It's still echoey in here, but we got a new table. She's a little small, yes, but we're probably gonna get a bigger one, but you know, she's good for the moment. Um, yeah, as I said, it's just dirty down here. The ghetto, the ghetto. Like I would never, 
let it get this dirty. Like I usually wash dishes every night. So like you can tell I'm going through it. Like the George Foreman is dirty. Like what the George Foreman? Please. <sighs> like the surface is dirty. I'm just going through it. So I'm just gonna take you guys through my day of trying to get my shit together. I need to cook. Cooking just makes me feel better, oddly enough. So I need to um, force myself to cook something today. Anyone can cook. But other than that, I will see you guys when I'm doing something. Brushed my teeth and washed my face. I kind of want to get back into bed and not do anything for the rest of the day. Um, so I think I'm going to take a nap. And if you know me, then you know I hate sleep. So the fact that I want to take a nap is uh, alarming to say the least. Yeah, so the fact that I want to take a nap is quite scary, I would say. So yeah, I'm definitely about to take a nap and maybe we'll do some stuff after I wake up from my nap. I mean, it's already 11.43, but my naps don't usually last long. My naps are like 30 minutes to an hour max. So it may literally be 12.30 when I wake up again. We'll do something. I made a promise to myself that today I would get up and do something, whether that be wash the dishes, clean my room, something uh, maybe i'll clean clean my room and like vacuum and do all this that i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling after my nap hey 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 how y'all doing um it is 12 37 isn't that so funny i didn't go to sleep <laughs> i sat in bed and watched videos <sighs> I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. Um, hello! And honestly, I feel like having those days is fine. Like, I feel like you're allowed to have days where you don't want to get up and you don't want to go outside. Like, it doesn't mean you're depressed. Right? I mean, granted, I haven't gotten up and done anything in days. Don't worry about it. Don't. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm going to Oklahoma um, in March. It's February 13th. And I need to get away. Like, I need to get away sooner than that. Like, I'm losing my fucking mind. Like, I need to go somewhere. And if I had my passport, I could just go see my mother because she is in Mexico. She lives in Mexico now. But she's been, like, damn near begging me to come see her. I don't have my passport because I stole it. But if I did, I'd just go there and then come back when I'm about to go to Mexico because I, I have to get away from here. Like, it's not doing me well. And, like, that sounds, like, so bad to say. Like, I'm... Like, I am living a dream life for some people right now. But, like, being cooped up is not doing me well. And, like, I, I can't. I don't have the mental stability to go to work. Maybe she's born with it. Or maybe, just maybe, it's mental illness, isn't it? I'm gonna get up now. No, I'm not. I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit here. Uh! Like, okay, but Also, I think something that's contributing to this is the fact that I don't have nails. And technically, I have the funds right now to go and get my nails done. But I had this video planned where I was going to go, when I was going to glow up. And I was going to get, like, my hair cut, get my nails done. That was going to be next week because I'm traveling for that video. But, like, I, I feel so gross without my nails done. And that's so weird to say because, like, like I literally just started getting my nails done. Like, I have not been getting my nails done for 18 years of my life. But I don't know, it's like a mindset now. Y'all, this is gross. This is gross. The ghetto. The ghetto. That is gross. But I just can't be bothered to wash right now. I'm about to because I need to, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. But I'm just gonna go ahead and wash the dishes. 
So that way I can feel like I did something today. And then I will see you guys after that. myself to film a funny video um in the midst of making this video uh i don't know i just feel like if i force myself to like laugh and like have fun maybe it'll like brighten and lighten up my mood i don't know it might not work <laughs> but if the video turns out well you'll see it before this one okay so i just finished filming the video i changed as you can see because i couldn't look bummy for the camera um i can't tell if the video seemed forced or not so we'll see um, when we watch it back. If it does turn out good, then this vid that video will be uploaded before this one. So I'll go ahead and put it in the cards and go check it out. Um, it's a video of me reacting to my old videos that I used to film in like 2015. Um, but if it doesn't end up well, then you won't see it and I'll refilm it and it'll come out after this one. Um, I It did put me in a little bit of a bit of a, oh my God, sorry. It did put me in a little bit of a better mood because I had to be ecstatic and, you know, excited for the video. Um, so I guess I'm like doing better than I was now. I don't know. Um, but I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit. It's like, it is 4.21. Um, so I don't need to start making dinner yet. I think I'm gonna make baked spaghetti. I'm gonna try to make baked spaghetti, let me say. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill out, maybe go clean up some more downstairs, take the trash out. I really do need to take the trash out, but I really don't feel like it. Um, well, that video really did put me in a better mood because before this, I feel like I was like whispering, like not really like talking loud or enunciating my words or anything like that. But um, I don't know, sometimes uh, forcing yourself to be in a better mood sometimes puts you in a better mood. So maybe you should try it out sometime. Um, but yeah, I guess I would talk to you guys when I start actually doing something again. Okay, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I'm just really not feeling up to cooking tonight and there's not much else I can do. 
to force myself to be productive. I've done pretty much everything I needed to do today. I know this video wasn't like exciting or like funny or anything like that, but I kind of just wanted to get like this sad energy out of me and like put it somewhere. Um, and this is the best uh, outlet I knew to go to. If you comment some things below that you do when you're feeling a little sad and stuff like that, maybe I'll try it out. Next time I'm feeling sad, I won't film it. I won't film every time I'm sad, obviously, but I'll just try it out for the next time. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all for today's video. I'm surprised I didn't stay in bed all day. That's what I really wanted to do. Um, so luckily I did force myself to do some things and uh, my room is clean. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys the most. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications because if you don't turn those on, you won't know when I post. And I want you to know when I post so we can stay on this journey of YouTube together. Um, alright, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. East and the West, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much treat, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her.